Hey, how's it going, guys? Azinium here. And, uh, yeah, I don't know why. Like, every day I go to Walmart, uh, it's every day that I go to Walmart because I don't try to make that, obviously, a bit of a hobby, if you know what I mean. But every day I do, it just gets worse and worse. So, here we are once again, Wally World. You're not my friend. So, anyways, getting into Walmart once more was a hassle. Can't believe that this is just literally, at this point, a Walmart series. But, that's a thing. Yes, that's definitely a thing. So, you ever get stuck behind that one old lady that moves, like, literally half a mile per hour? Well, that was the case. After finally breaking through and getting into the store, I was set to a site that has probably burned into my brain practically permanently 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 so there's always that one friend that you have but i can say this this poor man had to stare at his big big friend orc at him like a seal all the way across the store it was freaking insane who who does that? Work, work, work! And as you may imagine, I moved right on by that as quickly as possible. Because what a mess. So surprisingly, I had a nice and easy going rest of the trip, except for near the end at checkout. This gets even stranger guys so i was waiting in line i had my position when this 400 pound gentleman shoved past everyone loaded to the gills with freaking lunch meats it was insane yes it's like sir save some lunch meats for the rest of us he had to have had at least three ham worth of lunch meats just stacked on either arm I was like, Scrub, dude, do you make sandwiches that thick? Because that's... Damn, that's a lot of lunch meats. So I thought that was going to be the end of my venture, because at this point, I'm like, wow, well, now I've lost my my line, uh, my spot, and I'm like, ah, oh, man, what, what in the world is just happening here? It... it, it uh, yeah. And that's when you have this... this guy, right? This guy you have, this, I can't English. Anyways, so he walks up to me and he starts rattling on about his military past. Oh, my grandpappy served in the World War II. And then he went on and 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 on into the fact where I was done scanning my stuff and walked out to my car. I'm convinced he's still talking about his grandpappy to this hour, and to this day. Into the sunset, he rode, talking about his grandpappy. And that, my dear friends, is today's story of the day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the Discord channel, and uh, yeah, post stories about your grandpappy to serve in World War II.